on the channel from the Mattel WrestleMania Elite Line 2022, Shawn Michaels. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel as we continue unboxing the WWE Mattel WrestleMania Elite Series for 2022. Boy, that's a mouthful. But today at the table, we've got Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid in his farewell attire. Now, we've seen this before, I believe, in his defining moments figure. We'll compare that at the end. Uh, so we've seen this a little bit before, a little bit more updated. Uh, we'll see how this is out of the package. And of course, we're going to do this like we always do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. And of course, if you're looking for this right now, ringsidecollectibles.com is shipping these out. Use discount code KYLE, save 10% if you want, or wait a little bit. I'm sure you'll be able to find these on Amazon, Target, all that kind of stuff uh, in the future. So there you go. But let's take a look at the packaging on the Heartbreak Kid. There he is. A lot of hands in there. That's the thing that I noticed most about this package with the Build-A-Figure Vince, which we love, but you get a lot of extra pieces going on. So you got all these extra hands. Just looks very strange to me in the package. You also see the microphone for Vince in there. Glamour shot of Sean down there with his name, the Build-A-Figure build Vince logo, big WWE logo, the Elite at the top, WrestleMania logo at the other side of the top. And on the side, you got a little glamour shot of the old Heartbreak Kid with the WrestleMania logo above him. On the side, Elite, True Effects, WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels, Certified Authentic, all kinds of stuff on that side, Spine, and then the back, you get a glamour shot of Shawn, you get the blurb, you get the tail of the tape, you get the cross sell, you get the Vince build of figure, uh, just a lot going on in the back there, Shawn Michaels at the top, WrestleMania Elite in the logos form. There it is. All right, let's read the tale of the tape from San Antonio, Texas. To me, Shawn Michaels will always be a Sioux City, Iowa boy. At the end of the day, he's just an old Iowa boy. Uh, but he says, from San Antonio, Texas, home of H-E-B grocery stores. Oh, H-E-B, what are you up to lately? Height, six foot one, weight, 225 pounds. Career highlight, WWE champion, Intercontinental champion, WWE Hall of Fame inductee. The heartbreak kid put his career on the line against The Undertaker's mythical 17-0 streak at WrestleMania. He sure did and it didn't work out too well for him but hey he tried better to uh try than not try at all or something i think yoda said that once or maybe i just did or maybe i just butchered it who knows but let's give it out of the package here got that white background we've seen that before in the other ones interesting it's something different see you later it's a point of difference so i prefer a point of difference every once in a while all right let's get down to old sean see what's going on in the plastic prison a lot going on in that plastic prison so let's pop it all out see what's doing maybe Gosh, these new plastic is very tough to get hands and stuff out. I've, I've noticed this. There it is. There it is. Come on. What are we doing? These hands. There it is. I gotta break that free. Vince, Vince. Can I get this microphone out? This microphone's gonna be tough. I can feel. I can feel it's a tough one. What are we doing? I don't know. I'm going to get this microphone out later. It's it's the bane of my existence. But you can see it. See you later. Over the back. That's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, we're strapped in with this Michaels. That's interesting. So they put a little of that old school Star Wars dental floss around him. Uh, I think because this is probably has a tendency to curl up on his vest. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that if that's the case of why they did that. That means it'll start curling in the future. Hopefully not the case, but take that off. All right, we got Shawn Michaels, and I feel that these hands on Shawn Michael are, Shawn Michaels are very, very strange. These are very long. I always call these the ricochet hands, just the longest fingers of all time. Uh, it's just what it looks like. It looks like Chris Rock. You guys know the comedian Chris Rock. He's got the longest fingers in the world. He's like Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four, spreading them way out. That's what these hands look like with Shawn Michaels. Uh, it just looks way, way too big. And then uh, talking about these hands here, I thought these were for Sean, but these must be for Vince. Feels kind of weird to get two of the same hands in the same pack. It feels like we're getting an old school AEW uh, unboxing from a few sets ago where they gave us the same hands twice. But Vince getting three sets of hands with his Build-A-Figure, that's interesting. I'm pretty sure that's what they're for. They wouldn't give us doubles. Uh, no fists with Shawn Michaels, unfortunately. You get two holding hands, and that's it, so... Uh, it is what it is. And then you got more Vince McMahon. So you get one, two, three, four sets of hands with Vince McMahon. Could that be right? 
I don't know. I don't know. It just seems off to me. But there's Vince. And like I said, at the end of the week, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to rank the entire WrestleMania set from my favorite to least favorite. And we're going to build that Vince McMahon figure. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but this Sean, I've already said, I don't like these hands on him. So I'm definitely moving him to these hands. Uh, they just look very, very strange to me. Now, it's cool to get this uh, nice, soft goods vest. Uh, very, very detailed. It's not reused. It's not something easy. It's got the uh, strips on the sides. So there's some there's some money spent in, spent in this. They're not getting the most of their molds with this. So I do like that. Uh, it's a little bit of a cream color. Same with his pants. A lot of decor, a lot of decorations on this. As you guys know, uh, Sean went all out for this attire. And they put it pretty good in figure form. I like the looks of it. Uh, but it is a cream and black color head sculpt on Sean looks like an older version it looks a lot like the Bret Hart we compared the two Bret Hart's it looks like the old version of Bret Hart it doesn't look like an up-to-date face scan on this one I do really do appreciate as you guys know I absolutely love it pinless joints on this one throughout that is always great love me some pinless joints um, but yeah, it's Sean. He's got his tattoo. Unfortunately, no color in the tattoo. That seems like a big miss. Color in that heart a little bit. I don't know what happened there. Um, but it's all right. It's an okay Shawn Michaels. Is this the greatest Shawn Michaels you'll ever see? I don't think we can go that far. I know there's a lot of Shawn Michaels fans. And it seems like it's been a while since we got a Shawn Michaels figure. I can't remember what the last Shawn figure we got before this. Uh, I don't know, just because it doesn't come to my mind. But we haven't gotten a lot of Shawns. I would love to see more Ruthless Aggression era Shawns. Give me the little Dutch boy haircut. Give me his comeback jeans, street fight with Triple H attire. Uh, give me a, the Elimination Chamber attire. Uh, there's a lot they could do with Shawn Michaels still, and I think they forgot almost an entire era of Shawn Michaels figures that are, you know, welcome to us. And I wouldn't even be opposed to a really good elite of his comeback match where he's bald of the Saudi Arabia show. I know we got it in basic form, but I would be okay with a version of that in elite form as well. It's his last match. Come on, let's let's celebrate it. Or I know a lot of you guys want to forget it, but anyways, this Sean. A lot of good accessories. The vest is really the best accessory. The head, I don't mind too much. The hand's a little goofy. Wish we had some paint on the tattoo. Uh, we do have the Defining Moments one, which I know is a, a grail piece for a lot of people. So very similar but different. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't even remember which one's the more accurate attire. I'd have to assume this is more accurate. I don't remember. I don't remember. But we got kind of two versions of this one. Uh, so, so pick your poison. This one obviously going to be a heck of a lot cheaper than the Defining Moments version, as Defining Moments have skyrocketed over the last few years, as you guys are all fully aware of. But for Shawn Michaels, and it being a while, I can see this one selling. As like I said, we haven't had one for a while. I think that'll help this move off the peg. So uh, I'm going to stick with AJ Styles, most likely being the peg warmer of the set, but we'll see. Bret Hart might surprise some people as well. Uh, but Sean, I got to think people will pick him up because of the name identity and because it's been a little bit of a drought since we've had some Shawn Michaels figures. But what say you out there in YouTube land? Where do you sit? Where do you land on this Shawn Michaels figure? You going to pick it up? You have any nitpicks with it? Do you love it? Do you absolutely over the moon with it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Make sure you follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the heartbreak kid himself, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.